if your patient has hypertension, you need to think about what are the things in their diet and lifestyle that's raising their blood pressure. Well, the lifestyle issues are simple. They're ones we all know. Alcohol consumption increases the excretion and requirement for B vitamins and minerals. Sleep, lack of sleep, increases the cortisol levels, changes the holding on to different amounts of uh, sodium, and guess what? They have increased high blood pressure. Not enough sleep, not enough melatonin affects hypertension. Think about whether they're exercising or not. You can tell by muscle tone that this gentleman exercises. Good muscle tones of upper extremities. We know that if you can just decrease your weight less than 5%, you are going to markedly diminish your systolic hypertension. Let's look at the diet and lifestyle. So the diet, look at the diet and consider, is there adequacy of protein? Are there adequacy of amino acids? We know that people who do not have enough protein or too much protein actually have alterations in their blood pressure. Do they have enough essential fatty acids? Inflammation will increase blood pressure through its effect on endothelial function by its effect on coagulopathy. So you know that you have to consider essential fatty acids in the diet. Are there enough? Are there other sequelae on physical exams suggesting there's inflammation? Consider that. You have to look at their minerals. Do they have enough greens in their diet? If they don't have enough greens in their diet, fresh vegetables, then you have to think about adequacy of magnesium, really the potassium to sodium ratios. You have to think about adequacy of calcium. If they have high blood pressure and they don't eat a lot of vegetables, consider doing the taste test on physical exam, the mouth portion of the exam, because if they're a super bitter taster, they're not going to consume as many greens, which plays, fills right into their issues with hypertension. What you can tell by this and by looking at the companion guide on hypertension, which is filled with information about the different nutrients and uh, the different medications that affect blood pressure and hypertension, is that looking at a blood pressure determination and doing it correctly will just open the whole, the whole array of considerations for you that impact your patient's health. Good luck. Blood pressure. As part of the anthropometrics, this begins the ABCDs of the routine functional nutrition exam in functional medicine. Amongst all the data and information we collect on our clients, blood pressure offers an important touch point in the constellation of their health. When you find an elevated blood pressure, orthostatic changes or an abnormal ankle arm index, interpret it in the context of your client's timeline. Then you can begin to explain points of connection between these findings and the diet and lifestyle and biomarkers. That way, the order of intervention begins to reveal itself. Using the IFM Diet, Nutrition, and Lifestyle Journal helps you see the cardiometabolic risk patterns which affect insulin and lipids, vascular health and autonomic dysfunction, coagulation risk factors, or those immune and toxic players which promote abnormal blood pressure. This understanding leads to the therapeutic interventions which are at least as powerful as adding a medication. You can appropriately intervene with certain proteins, essential fats, and the right kind of carbohydrates, the balanced application of minerals, vitamins, and the rainbow of phytonutrients are often enough to improve blood pressure in the many stages of hypertension. Remember, just lowering the hypertensive patient's systolic blood pressure by 10 millimeters of mercury will decrease their risk of heart attack or stroke by 20%. Now that is strong medicine. As you work on these clinical exam skills, please use the quick reference guide and also the more extensive companion guide. 
discover the power of nutrients, food, and lifestyle in impacting this important star in the constellation of your client's health. I'm Michael Stone with the Institute for Functional Medicine. Thank you for helping your clients achieve better health. Thank you.